Hi, Johnny Bergen here with another Chicago Blues guitar lesson. This lesson is sponsored by a student of mine. I'm going back to Elmore James. This is the flip side of Dust My Broom. I was fooled. Wait, I was a fool. That's what it's called. So I'm going to play a bit of the intro, the rhythm, and the solo. And then I'm going to talk about what makes it tick, what's good about it. I might get the solo not totally note for note. But um, it's pretty, it's pretty close, and the rhythm guitar in here is just almost the star of the show. And uh, is, yet again, it's Elmore James is the master of these dramatic intros that grab you, and the solo comes back and, and uh, elaborates on that. So. <laughs> Okay, so that was the intro, the chords, and then the solo. I might have the solo a little bit wrong, but, you know, it sounded a whole lot better when I played it in the flow of the whole deal. So, you know, I didn't realize he did this in New Orleans, Earl Palmer's on drums, and he was playing standard right from Jump Street, pretty much, as well as the uh, open D that he's so famous for. But uh, this is a really fun song to play, and... I'm going to start out with the rhythm guitar because it's so important. And uh, if you take one thing from this, you should really get this. So this is this is an A bar chord. This is an A. I mean, this song is in A. So, but I'm going to play it this way with my thumb, fifth fret. Don't worry about the A string. If it rings, fine. If it doesn't ring, fine. And then play like that. And you could bar here if you want. And then just just good downstroke. And then I got my pinky working on that seventh fret of the B string, and that's kind of like a lump. It's just like anytime I hear an F sharp, it's like a it's like a lump there in this key, right? should be doing this with a thumb pick but that's okay and then for the D ninth you're gonna leave out the A string put your second finger on the low E string basically it's a three finger chord but it sounds so big and you can use four fingers but this is five open on the A string you can bump into it first finger fourth fret D string third finger fifth fret then you have like that and then you can put your pinky here if you want. I usually don't hear it, but sometimes I do. It's driving me crazy. So, and sometimes you just hear this. Just he's just holding that pulse while he's singing. Oh, I believe what you said. I love the way his voice breaks in the most charismatic way. You know, he's you can tell he's just pushing himself to his limit, and that's. You know, that's why he's so heroic. Why, I mean, you can't listen to this music and not love this guy. And anyway, then you have pretty much for the five, the five I'm just hearing these three notes. Or, sounds really good all down. Or almost all down. So that's the rhythm guitar, okay? Now the 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 opening is real similar to the solo. I love the way you missed the note here. They kept on going, right? Did they worry about that? No. 
it should have been this, right? It had to have been, but it, but somehow it's, you could almost hear a click where it happened, but the note didn't ring or something. But So this is just 5 and 6, and then on the G string, and then 5th fret B string, and then hit that 5 and 5, the power Chuck Berry rock and roll blues thing right here all downs it just wouldn't sound right that sounds so wimpy so that'd be all downs and the second time he got it and now let's see if you can reach out to the eighth fret B E string and then something like that and then he does that bend, half step bend, 7th fret, G string. That's a good one, huh? So it's got a roll. Got a 7th fret. So you bend it, unbend it. 5th fret. use this as a substitute for this. This is 7th and 8th. Notice how minimal it is as far as turnarounds go. There's really no turnaround, but he'll just play the E note right where the turnaround would go, 7th fret A string. Yeah. You feel the turnaround even though he's still playing the A chord. That helps create that motion, that always forward motion, so he's not, you know, that a typical bar band of today might do. He skipped all that. He's, he made, simplified it and made it better, really. I was a fool. Okay, so the solo really kind of plays the changes. And it really swings. get it I just played it wrong the first time then I went and listened to it played it wrong the second time so but that was pretty pretty close so you could practice stuff like that and I really like so I'm gonna leave you with that because I think you have the tools you need to Some of it almost reminds me of something Lee Cooper would do, you know, just a little more, even rawer than Lee Cooper, like that kind of thing. I also really like the ending where he goes, or there's something really similar to that. It actually went, I'm hearing a one, five, one there. So it's like, Like that that's great I love the old innings where one five one you know that's really cool I should have talked about that last week for my endings video but um anyway I hope you enjoyed this look at this great tune um, Elmore James and standard is just devastating so uh, have fun trying to play this do subscribe to my YouTube channel join me on patreon for weekly guitar chats thanks for your support and see it next time <laughs>